the floods of 2008 affected cities across Iowa, resulting in loss and heartbreak and billions of dollars in damage to property and crops. Iowa legislators decided to act and establish the Iowa Flood Center at the University of Iowa. It serves Iowans by developing and maintaining a real-time sensor network and public online tools that provide detailed information on precipitation and stream levels for more than 1,000 communities. That's where we turned water was all the way up to 2nd Avenue, all the way up through there. That was all underwater. Using these tools, individuals and community leaders can understand potential flood risks and make informed decisions both in the time between flood events and when one is occurring. That's the low, that's the low property in question. If the Wapsipitaka River would dry up for one day, if our board and our elected officials would allow it, somebody would build a house right smack dab in the middle of it. So there's a proposal to put a 29 home subdivision back in to put people in harm's way. What we've got to do is do our diligence in education and making sure that don't happen. Those flood center tools that we have, we're able to share that data, we're able to show them physically with that interactive map and we can show them why we shouldn't be doing this. They mounted to the side of the bridge. The flood center and the river gauge will help us for what's coming down the river from above us. We are one mile west of Dunkerton on Crane Creek, so this will be a several hour heads up to what's going to happen in town. We're not trying to stop floods with this, we're trying to forecast them and not have to move a business if it's not a problem. But when you don't know, you have to be ready. While we cannot stop the floods, <laughs> uh, we are working on it, but for now, we think that uh, when people have the information available, uh, then they can make the best decisions uh, how to protect themselves. IFC's research and reputation helped secure over $100 million from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development for cost-shared flood mitigation projects, like retention ponds. To date, there are 150 practices in place. I think it'll hold 40 acre feet or close to that when it's filled up, and it'll deter that from going down and taking out the old county bridges. Collaborations up and downstream help solve problems the Iowa way, together. There is always more work to do. Future efforts hope to fill in current gaps in data with more sensors. This is a weather station that we have here on our farm. It's kind of right in the middle of our fields, and it tells us rain, the ground temperature in the spring, which is pretty important, and when, while we're spraying, it's important to have the wind on location so we can make better management decisions based off of that. The Iowa Flood Center is still the nation's only academic institute devoted solely to flood research. As a leader, it sets an example by providing the best tools to Iowans for flood forecasting and supporting efforts to build resiliency into the landscape through mitigation practices.